What's going on guys? This is Ice from Llama Labs. Or is it? I mean, technically, I could be an AI and you would probably never think otherwise. Anyway, as some of you may already know, I'm currently in the process of moving places. So until the new studio is ready, you'll just have to deal with my crazy twin stand-in look-alike thing for the time being. But enough of all that, because staking is here, baby. Roll the intro. As most of you already know, and for those that don't, well, you do now because you saw the thumbnail, staking is now available for all Magma Pass holders. On the Magma website, you'll want to navigate to staking and then connect your wallet. If it doesn't work, simply refresh the page and try again. Once connected, you'll be able to see the main dash. To stake your pass, scroll down to the bottom and click stake now. You'll be brought to a screen where you'll be able to designate a beneficiary wallet. This is the wallet that you'll be able to access all of Magma's tools from, and we'll get into that a little bit later. At the bottom, click Set Wallets and Stake, and you'll receive a notification via MetaMask to approve the transaction. If you're unable to see the Set Wallets and Stake button, try zooming out your screen on the browser, and that should take care of it. The first benefit of staking is security. As we discussed in previous videos, oftentimes when wallets are compromised, it's usually not a dodgy character sitting behind a computer screen that is stealing your assets. More often than not, it is a bot that is programmed to immediately accept all the top wrapped ETH offers for all of your NFTs, followed by sending that ETH to the perpetrator's wallet. By staking your Magma Pass, it creates an added layer of protection for your assets. As the bot may not be programmed to interact with staking contracts, this added step could make all the difference in protecting your NFTs. The second benefit of staking is the ability to delegate a beneficiary wallet. Tying things back to security, let's say you have your Magma Pass on a ledger or cold wallet. Now, while this is great to protect the NFT itself, maybe I'm not comfortable with accessing tools such as Webmin or Magma Connect through this particular wallet. Delegating a beneficiary wallet will allow you to access these platforms from a burner wallet instead, without ever having to put your ledger at any potential risk. Additionally, any minting from the current and future Magma art drops will be based off of which wallet you've set as the beneficiary. This means you can assign any burner wallet you wish to mint the Magma art drop and effectively serves as Magma's method of wallet collection. While the mint day has yet to be announced, the final snapshot of whitelisted beneficiary wallets will likely happen a day or so before mint. As we continue pushing out more developments from Magma, future access to mints and tools will be solely accessible for staked holders via the beneficiary wallets. So make sure you get that set up at your earliest convenience. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. This is I signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.